In this segment, um, we're going to cover checking the brake fluid. We just replaced the, the right hose, and in doing so, we had the system open, and we had fluid constantly leaking out. We want to top that back off before we go to the other side to make sure we've got adef adequate fluid in there. And let me give, take this point in time to give you a little reminder. This brake clean, if you get it on the automotive, the, the surface of automotive, the paint, it's going to eat the paint up. Um, so you want to be real careful with it. Don't spill it. Don't let the excess get around. And now that I've uh, um, brought that issue to light, uh, let's go back one step and go back to the work we just did and take some brake clean and spray off where we just worked. Anywhere brake fluid leaked around there, let's spray it off the caliper or anything around that area and so it runs off and gets off of there and it has time to dry up. So it doesn't do any further damage. So go ahead at this time and go down and clean that off real fast where we just worked. I should have covered it in our last segment, but better late than never. And we just want to spray off any fluid that dripped around on any parts of the car, caliper, or lower suspension, and that will prevent any deterioration, and that also clean the situation up so it's good and dry. Now we'll go back. Regardless of where the fluid level is, it's going to be lower. Go ahead and top it off. You want as much fluid in there as possible because um, it's, it's going to leak. Now, we don't want to leave our master cylinder in a situation where it's got more fluid in it than it's supposed to have. You don't want to exceed, for operating purposes, the add line, but we're going to bleed the system here shortly and let more fluid out, so we can't uh, have too much in there right now. When, at the end of the job, we're going to make sure that we leave what's recommended to be in the master cylinder there. So after topping that off, and keep it in mind, protect your paint, don't want to get anywhere on your vehicle, as you get it on your gloves, sometimes you'll need to change these out occasionally during the job to prevent you from transferring this contamination over to your vehicle and causing uh, damage to its exterior or paint job. Uh, that should cover checking the brake fluid, adding the brake fluid. We've got that topped off. We're all prepared to go to the passenger side and remove the old brake hose and install the new brake hose in the same procedure. Everything laid out in a chronological order and we're going to go through it real quickly to prevent losing any more fluid than necessary. Well, watch our next segment on removing and replacing brake hose passenger side.